Let's say we have an existing structure and we want to do a simple remodel. This project really only needs two phases. The existing phase, this is the construction that occurred in the past, and the new construction phase, which will include uh, both the demolition of some of the existing elements as well as the addition uh, of all the new construction elements. Let's take this oversimplified example and say we want to remove the closet and add a new door and wall here. All we need to do is select these existing walls and doors and in the properties palette just specify the phase in which we want to demolish those as the new construction phase. Having already been created in the existing phase, we're going to demolish those in this new construction phase. And there you can see on our demolition plan, those elements show up properly dashed. And our new construction plan, we've added a new wall and door uh, that are created here in the new construction phase. Demolition inside Revit is not a phase unto itself. It's an action that occurs to an element during a phase. So we could add an additional phase here just for demolition, uh, but it would unnecessarily complicate the project and make it more difficult for us to filter the phases of our view and get the look that we need for each individual view. So let's remember in Revit, demolition is not a phase. It's an action that occurs to an element in a phase.